This is Small Business Sundays. We are gonna be talking about video aspects that'll help you improve your small business game using video. Today we're gonna to be discussing reviews and testimonials. What's up everybody, my name is Jason Osterkamp from Night Owls Media and today is Small Business Sunday. Reviews have quickly become the lifeblood of the small business community. If your business is thriving, it's probably because other people are talking about your business, whether it's word of mouth or actually written reviews online. So today we're gonna to be discussing how important it is to have reviews, and depending on your services or what you actually offer your customers, how important is video testimonials to your business? So let's think for a second, how important are reviews? When was the last time you went to Amazon or some online shopping website and said, hey, there's a TV, I don't know much about it, I'm just going to buy it. You don't. You look through the reviews, you see how many stars it has, you read the reviews. Even if it has four stars out of five, you still kind of want to know why doesn't it have five? So you go down to the review section and you look into what people are saying about this product that they've bought. The same idea goes for everything. It can go for electronics like phones and tablets and cameras and things like that, but can also go to local stuff like restaurants or small businesses like yourself. We are currently living in an augmentator society. And what that means is we're putting less value on the actual creator of things and more value on the reviews. It's very important to have a third party such as Yelp or Google reviews because that third party is not affiliated with you directly. A good idea is to get your reviews done on Google reviews because Google is a very powerful search engine, but it also works as an SEO for your business. It would be wonderful if everyone we worked with and every customer you had gave you a review, but you probably know that's not the case. So how do you get people to leave you a review? You can do things like promotions where you reach out to your previous customer base and say, hey, we saw that you bought XYZ. We're gonna be putting everyone who gives us a review into a lottery and then picking a name where they get a prize or something like that. You can post on social media asking people for reviews. Especially this year, I believe a lot of small businesses need the reviews more than ever. And if people are sitting at home, they're looking for something to do and People love to voice their opinions, whatever they may be, so give them a chance to voice their opinion about you and your services. Some companies, like Meraki, this amazing shop in my hometown of Elgin, puts a little card inside of the bag when you leave that says, if you had a pleasant time, please review us on Google. And that's a, a beautiful way of asking for a review without sounding too overhanded. Most of the times when I buy things online from websites that aren't Amazon or these big conglomerates, usually they'll send me a little postcard that says, uh, we, we would love to hear what you thought of the product, please give us a review. And this is really nice because it shows me that they actually care what I think. And I think that's really important to have this kind of third party review site where I can be honest and everyone can read it, and then your clientele will be able to read a wide variety of reviews rather than just the cherry-picked ones that we want for our websites. And of course, we want those amazing reviews for our websites, and you can still do that and put those beautiful, amazing reviews that make you sound glowing on your website, but having that third party also gives you uh, validation and credibility. When you get an awesome review, don't be afraid to shed it online. Post it on your Instagram stories. Let the world know that someone loved your product. Now we're getting to customer testimonials. Businesses that provide services like let's say dentists or housework, construction, anything that requires a more service-handed thing rather than just an object that's sent to me, sometimes having that personal connection with your customer really speaks to a much wider audience. Sometimes having that personal connection with the person giving the review will speak much louder than just their words. For instance, when my clients work with me on video services, I love to have them either send me a little cell phone video of their testimonial or them watching their video for the first time. I've done this with wedding couples in the past. Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Sophia Vega. <laughs> Oh man. 
I don't even know what to say. That was the most. How did you make it that pretty? Oh, it wasn't awesome. even that pretty of a day. How did you make it look like that? Man, you guys are awesome. Or in some cases, I like to actually sit down with my clients and ask them questions about why they loved our service so much. My company was really excited to work with Jason and his team. They brought a lot to the table to make our brand not only shine through video, but look exceptional. We were not only able to come to the regional arena and show who we were as a company, we were able to shine on a national level. And putting that human connection to your potential audience who's going to be watching this, wondering not only is the product good, but is the service good? And in a service-based society, the product has to be fantastic, the end product. They, if I make a video for your company, if, if you're a dentist and I'm making a video for your dental practice, that video has to be stunning. But you also have to like me, you have to like my team, and you have to like how we click and how we gel together working on a project. Because if you're gonna wanna use me again, I want you to like me. So not only because we get to work together again, but in case something does come up, it's very important to gel well with the service providers who are doing a service for you. And having that human person talking on camera, giving their honest opinions in a heartfelt way, feels a lot more emotionally engaging to your audience rather than something just written. Before I shot with Jason, um, I was a little nervous because it's a male and uh, I think within the first five minutes of talking to him and just made me feel so comfortable and it when I saw the video I was floored I was like who is that girl like seeing the video that Jason shot of me for that boudoir I I don't know, I was like, I felt amazing. I felt the most beautiful I've ever felt. I like show people that video, like I'm like bragging. I'm like, did you see this video of me? Does your business need testimonials? Maybe, maybe not, but think about it. Should you ever need video for your business? Please contact us, we offer full video production packages. Or if you just need a consultant, I offer my consultant fees at a very affordable hourly rate either in person or digitally. If you're liking this content, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. The more subscriptions we have, the more we know we're doing a good job and offering something awesome to the world. It lets me know that other businesses out there are wanting to grow using video. From social media marketing to how to know how to hire a videographer or what kind of content your business will need. So what questions do you have about using video or what's holding you back for not using enough video for your business. Leave a comment down below. Again, I'm Jason from Night Owls Media. Thank you for watching today. Be better, do something awesome.